Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to model point loads along members as a member load. The first step in this workflow will be to select the members that you're interested in assigning load to. To do that, I'm going to unselect all members by clicking somewhere in my view window. I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to select the members that I'm interested in. Now currently I do have the local access system turned on for each of the members that I have selected. I'm going to notice that the starting end of the member is at the left hand side of the member and the ending end of the member is at the right hand side. Whenever you enter any type of partial distributed load or point load along a member, you will need to reference the starting end of the member as that's where the distances will be entered from. Now that we've selected the three members that we're interested in, we will go to the member tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the concentrated load icon. Within this dialog, we're going to select the load case that we're interested in. We'll select the snow load and we will enter the direction of load. We will go in the global Y direction. Now you can enter this information either as a percentage of the length of the member or with reference to distance. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and use a percentage and then I can enter the loads in a table. This table will be used for however many point loads you have along the members that are currently selected. Here I'm going to enter negative five kips and I'm going to create three point loads along this member. I will be entering them as a percentage according to this checkbox here. So I'm going to enter the first load at 25% along the member length, 50% along the member length, and also 75. Once I'm done, I can click OK, and then I'm ready to assign these loads. To finish this process, let's click OK, and I should be able to see the point loads along the member. To view that information in the spreadsheet, we can go to the Spreadsheet tab of the Ribbon Toolbar, and within the Member Tools area, I should be able to find my Point Loads option. This will indicate all the point loads that are currently assigned to the members within this model, according to the currently selected load case. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.